What's up, guys? We have made it to episode eight. We're still not sub 20, but every episode we keep getting closer and closer to our goal, which is super exciting. So like always, make sure to leave a comment of some kind of question for next week's video. Also, I thought this would be a little bit fun, but I think it'd be super fun to uh, talk about conspiracy theories for next week's video. I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in, but comment your favorite conspiracy theory and let's talk about it. I think that would be really kind of an interesting thing to do. But again, we have the giveaway in the description ending soon. So go ahead and make sure to sign up for that. And I guess for this week's questions, I'm still answering a few of last week's and the week before. So if I didn't get to your questions before, we definitely have gotten to them now. So let's start with ARW cubing. What is your favorite cube? So I guess for me right now, my favorite cube is the Wave Rider V1, which you see me using now. I really like this cube. I've kind of talked about it in the review already, so I'm not going to waste you guys' time. But I think this cube fits really well with my turning style. I don't think it'll really fit for a lot of other people. However, you know, just with any cube, go ahead and give it a try before you buy it. Either your friend's cube or you go to a competition and you see someone with it. Always be polite. Always make sure you ask them before using their cube. But I think it's worth giving it a shot. I think this has got to be one of the best cubes of 2024 for me. But I think if, if we're not counting three by threes, we'll say I have really been enjoying solving the Ready Cube. I unboxed this like two or three or four. Oh my gosh, that's getting a long time ago. I unboxed this like four videos ago. Um, it's just a really fun cube. It looks like a three by three. It does not turn like a three by three, but it's overall just a kind of a fun challenge for me. Enrico Samuel Waiha, 5499. I think I got that right. He said, what's your main and secondary cube? So I just talked about my main here. I'd have to say my secondary, I am still really enjoying the Super RS3M or the RS3M V5. I think these cubes are really good, really practical for the price. So I think that would be my secondary cube. But in full honesty, there's not really a reason to have a secondary cube these days because I guess my, my main thing would be the reason you have a secondary is in case something goes wrong at like a competition. But cubes are so good these days, they hardly ever pop. There's hardly ever any issues with any like new cubes. So what's the point of the secondary, you know? If you guys know, let me let me know in the comments for sure. But I'm just really curious on that. I've never really felt the need to have like a, a dire secondary cube in 2024, you know. Cubing Chaos Live444 asks, what is your favorite sport? Um, I know I talked about this a little bit in some of my older live streams. So if you remember this, you're an OG. But I think my favorite sport is boxing. I was a pretty good boxer growing up. And even in like college and stuff, I do a lot of like boxing competitions and, you know, matches where I can earn money off of them. I think it's just some kind of sport that turned me into who I am today. Um, made me want to work hard in all aspects of life. So I guess for those reasons, I really do appreciate it and its impact on me. So boxing is my favorite sport to play, but I think if we're talking about watching a sport, I really do enjoy watching tennis and football, both American and European. Honestly, there's no bad sport. So that's just my take on things, but those are my favorite sports. Victory Cuber says, what is your biggest N times N cube? Um, again, the uh, unboxing the other day, a lot of videos ago, as we discussed, I unboxed a May long, I think. Yeah, May long 10 by 10, um, which is my biggest N times N cube. Um, hoping in the future to get something a lot bigger, but right now I'm just trying to build up like my collection. So I've got the one by one, um, and then I'm just sticking with May longs for the rest. So two by two through 10 by 10 in May long form, um, which a lot of people are like, why are you getting budget cubes for bigger cubes? But I guess I look at it this way. You can get a May long 10 by 10 for like $50. The cheapest 10 by 10 elsewhere is like almost double or triple that. So I guess to build my entire collection from smallest cube to largest cube, just using May longs is way cheaper than getting like 
I guess, a speed cube of each of those, if you know what I mean. So I guess my last point with that is, in full honesty, who is speed cubing a 10 by 10, right? So as long as it turns well, it's solvable, it doesn't pop, you know, why wouldn't you just get the cheapest one, right? Because then that leaves you with more buying power for other cubes. Anyway, I'm getting off on a big tangent here. Next couple of questions from Creeper Cubing. What made you start a cubing channel? Um, I really liked the uh, cubing like shorts and everything I saw online in like 2022, 2023. So I was like, I think I have some, uh, some enlightenment to add to this. So just started the channel, just kind of spiraled from there. Um, out of all the cubes you own, what is your favorite one? Um, I'd have to say the 10 by 10 right now. I have solved that cube in one week, like more than any other big cube I've ever had. So that's a lot of fun to me. Uh, he skips question three. He says, question four, what is your favorite YouTuber? Oh, I got a lot of favorites, but I love watching this guy named Stradman who does like car content. I love cars, so it's fun for me to watch. Uh, question five, what is your favorite movie? Um, I just saw Dune 2. That's got to be one of my favorites. But besides that, uh, probably like Wolf of Wall Street. Um, I think that's R. So I don't know if everyone here can watch that, but um, that is one of my favorite movies. Um, and final question, what is your favorite music genre? Oh, I've been listening to a lot of rap recently. So like all of Kanye's new albums, a lot of Travis Scott, um, but also sticking on like the kind of edge of rock, which is super fun. Um, I think that's all the questions we have time for. We are on the final solve right now, I think. Um, and even though uh, we didn't get like the best average this week, if I remember correctly, I think it was like 22 or 23 seconds, which is way less than the first episode of, um, I guess, the season of getting sub-20. Yep, 22.32 was my average. So we are so close to getting sub-20. And then for the challenge this week, I'm just solving the DNA cube. I thought it'd be really fun to solve. Um, but if you guys made it to this point in the video, go ahead and comment yellow. That's the comment of the day, so I know you stuck to the end of the video. But if you made it this far, why not subscribe, guys? It's free, totally awesome, and I appreciate it. But I appreciate all of you guys for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.